coast to coast in Newfoundland and Labrador. This is Issues and Answers with Lynn Burry. Welcome to Issues and Answers. I'm Danielle Barron, filling in for Lynn Burry this week. And joining me today, all the way from Quebec, NDP MP Guy Caron. Thanks for being here. It's great to be here. I understand uh, this is just one stop on your tour right across Atlantic Canada over the last few weeks. So I want to get right to it and tell us a little bit about what your tour is about in succession planning and, and what that means. Well, the few people actually know that when you're transferring your business to your kids, uh, you're paying a lot more taxes than if you're selling to a stranger. That's the situation if uh, both the parent and the kid are actually incorporated. And if you're selling to your kids, uh, it's, it's deemed to be a dividend on which you're paying the full tax, about 35%. If you're selling to a stranger, it's deemed to be a capital gains. And there is a capital gains exemption, a lifetime exemption of 850000 for businesses, a million for far more fishing operations. And uh, you're taxed at about 25% for the rest of the amount. So my bill wants to level the playing field wants to ensure that it's not a disadvantage to try to promote intergenerational inter transfers rather than selling it to a stranger and losing it from the fa for the family. So I guess uh, here in Newfoundland and Labrador, mm -hmm. those people most uh, impacted with this would be fisher, fishing operations, would that be correct? That would be correct, yes. And so any idea, I guess, nationally how many people would be impacted if these changes were to pass? Well, uh, I met with the Canadian Federation of Independent Businesses, the Canadian Federation of Agriculture. Everybody's telling me that about three-quarter of business farm or fishing operation owners intend to retire within the next 10 years. So that's a lot of uh, small business that uh, see their future being very uncertain. So I want, with my bill, give them an, op an option. I also want to promote uh, keeping our youth in our regions. We know that in many instances, many regions, youth are leaving to get better opportunities. And uh, if we are able to level the playing field, if we're able to give the same benefits, the same advantage to selling to your, uh, to your children, keeping it in the family, then that will be one more uh, argument for staying in the region. So I see many benefits in, uh, in the bill, and I certainly hope that uh, Parliament will see it this way. What sort of has been the reception uh, here locally? Have you had a chance to talk to uh, any, any fishing, fishing people? Yes, I did meet with the FFAW this morning. Uh, I also met with the St. John's Board of Trade. Uh, I met uh, Chambers of Commerce in Conception Bay South uh, in Deer Lake on, in the, on the West Coast. Uh, and, and the reception has been fantastic. I think people are seeing uh, the situation, they understand the situation, and I certainly hope that they will be talking to their local MPs because in the end it will be the vote which will take place uh, late October, early November that will make the difference. Um, my tour, and I've visited New Brunswick, uh, PEI, Nova Scotia, and now Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, I, I wanted to target the Chambers of Commerce, the farm, and the fishing organizations so that they will actually talk to their MPs. If I, as an NDP MP, talk to a Liberal MP, for example, it, it will have some effect, but not as much as if their own constituents uh, are trying to talk to them. Now, this is really all about taxes, is my understanding. That can be often confusing to the average yeah. person. So are you able to explain uh, maybe in dollars and cents the difference it would mean? Uh, for uh, one million business, uh, if it's sold to a kid, uh, you, pay, you can pay up to about $300,000 more in taxes than if you're selling to a stranger, and that's out of a one million sale. If you're talking about 10 million, and my bill covers uh, businesses up to 15 million, if you're talking about 10 million, say, large farm, uh, you could actually pay up to 1.2 million more in taxes than if you're selling to, to a stranger. Uh, honestly, if you're looking at it in a different way, if, you're, if you see an MP trying to bring a bill that would make it more advantageous to sell to a stranger rather than within the family, you'd be, you'd be taxed as crazy. Well, this is a situation we have now, and this is why I would like to, uh, to correct this with the help of the House of Commons. In, in a lot of ways, it sort of seems like a no-brainer in that, you know, if you want to pass it on to a family member, that it, it should be easier. Mm -hmm. um, but do you see any reluctance on behalf of government to uh, do that? 
Uh, I, I do have NDP, Bloc, and Conservative support. Uh, the Minister of Finance has stated he was opposed to the bill in two occasions. Uh, at first, he denied that uh, there was a problem. And then we, when we asked him the question in the House, he actually stated that uh, it's not true, that there is no differentiated treatment. Well, I've been working with... Uh, uh, large organizations like uh, Grant Thornton and uh, uh, other like the CPA and they know that there is a problem and I, I do have their support so I don't really understand this reluctance from the finance minister mm -hmm. on the other side this is a free vote so uh, if the finance minister is opposed that doesn't prevent other MPs to actually vote in favor of it especially if it will have a positive impact in their communities and would changes such as these require legislative change as well? That's a bill that I'm that presenting, so that would be something that would modify the Income Tax Act. Okay. And uh, so if it passes through second reading, it will be studied in committee and then go back to the House for a third reading. I have no doubt that if we are able to at least bring it to committee for a study and that we bring those organizations like uh, Grant Thornton, Thornton, for example, and the CFIB and, and so on, that they will be able to explain to the members there uh, that there is a real problem, that it will even be worse in the future, and that we need to uh, correct it now.